It's an unbelievable paternity story. She told me that she was leaving and I never heard from her again. Courtney took her son and left Kevin. I was just in a panic. For almost four years. Today, they're going to meet face to face again for the first time. You leaving me is one thing, but keeping him for me, I can never get that you back. You know what? Never. I was scared. I had a baby. Kevin hopes a DNA test will finally reunite him with his son. And the incredible results are in. Everyone, this is Courtney. Welcome, Courtney, to the show. So, when, when Courtney met, her ex-boyfriend, Kevin, five years ago. Kevin was an aspiring rock star. Now, Courtney admits she fell fast for Kevin. They soon welcomed a son named Jackson. But, but Kevin's rock and roll dreams destroyed their family. In fact, Courtney was so petrified of Kevin's partying ways, she admits she told Kevin he was not Jackson's father, and she left. Now, since then, Courtney has discovered that Jackson has a very serious hearing problem. He's going deaf. And she has finally realized that Jackson needs his father now in his life. Watch. I love Kevin so much. I really thought he was going to be an amazing dad. He got carried away with his dreams of being a rock star, and now we're here. I was struggling trying to do right by Jackson. 17 months, I had found out he was almost deaf. I was aware that Kevin had deaf relatives in his family. I emailed him, and I, I asked him to sign off rights. He said, absolutely not. If that's my son, I want to be there. I said, what are you talking about? You can't just waltz back in. You don't know anything about him. He's hearing impaired. He's, he's almost deaf, actually. He was shocked. It has been tough. You make it work and you thank God that you just have him because he's so freaking wonderful. He really is. I can't change the past, but I will do everything I can for Jackson's future. So, it was, I, this wasn't the life so I wanted. So what happened was that Kevin was getting out of control. Absolutely. You said you had to get away. This is my first yourself. child. This is my baby. It's the only thing I loved more than Kevin. So why didn't you say to him, Kevin, you're in big trouble here. I can't live this kind of life. I'm taking our child and leaving instead of saying he's not the father. Well, here's the thing. I did say that, actually. I was just like, you know what? This is enough. I'm gone. He kept calling. He did try. But I was just in a panic because I wanted, for my, my child's safety and just everybody, I just didn't want to deal with it, you know? So I was just like, you know what? You're not even the dad. Bye. This is what Kevin had to say. When Courtney and I were together, I played in a band and I partied, but that doesn't mean I was a bad dad. I was there for the pregnancy, the birth, and the first six months of his life. But all that changed when me and Courtney got into an argument. She told me that she was leaving and Jackson wasn't mine and I never heard from her again. A couple years down the line, I was told to look at Courtney's Facebook page and to see a picture of Jackson that looked just like me. When I heard that he was hearing impaired, I really got curious because that trait runs in my family. If he is my son, I've lost out on almost five years of his life. If he isn't mine, I'm going to be crushed because I've been dealing with this for the same amount of time. I hope that Maury reads that I am the father so I can start building memories with my son. Wow. Here's Kevin. at me with really that's your opening line how about i'm sorry you know sorry yeah because you're I... the one that took him from me you you packed up and left me absolutely you're damn right you, I did. You, hey, you absolutely. leaving you leaving me is one thing but keeping him for me is a whole nother thing that's five years i've lost five years i've lost of spending time with him just do you want to admit that you were living a lifestyle that a baby should not be involved Listen, my in. lifestyle had nothing to do with this i was there for six Six months of his life before she left. Six months, and I was there for him. Yeah. My family was there for him. She decided she wanted to leave. I called. I was begging, begging her to let me see him. Okay, hold on. And Come she home said no. at night. I was living with my mom. When I told you I was pregnant, you were excited, and then nothing. You didn't contribute. Really? No crib. 
Oh, why would I? You said that I, you said that I wasn't in stand. Why would I contribute I to something? I said that after the fact, and but you, you know hey, why. But you like, you like that check you just got, though, didn't you? Why can't we just smash it, get our clarification, and move on? Well, let's do it. Let's do it. Yeah. You owe me an apology. You owe me an apology. Yeah. Let's do it. Let's do it. Because when it comes to the one big thing, you all are in agreement. Exactly. You want him to be the father, and you want to be the father. Exactly. When it comes to four-year-old Jackson, Kevin. Don't go away. The DNA results are next. I love Kevin so much. I really thought he was going to be an amazing dad. He got carried away with his dreams of being a rock star, and now we're here. But Courtney and I were together. I played in a band and I party, but that doesn't mean I was a bad dad. If he is my son, I've lost out on almost five years of his life. If he isn't mine, I'm going to be crushed because I've been dealing with this for the same amount of time. I hope that Maury reads that I am the father so I can start building memories with my son. When it comes to four-year-old Jackson, Kevin, you are the father. Yeah! Coming up, don't miss the incredible moment backstage when Kevin meets his son for the first time in almost four years. Duh. Earlier, after taking her son and leaving Kevin for almost four years. I was just in a panic. You leaving me is one thing, but keeping him for me is a whole nother thing. That's five years old. I can never get that you back. You know what? Never. When Why can't we just smash it, get our clarification, and move on? Well, let's do it. Let's do it. When it comes to four-year-old Jackson, Kevin, you are the father. Yeah. A DNA test proved that Kevin is the father of Courtney's son, Jackson, who is going deaf from a hearing disability. Our cameras were there to catch the incredible moment of Kevin meeting his son, Jackson, for the first time in almost four years. Okay, there's somebody. I want you to meet family. Kevin, this is Jax. Hey, can you say hi? Hi. It's a bright light, I know. It's okay. It's okay. It's gonna it's be the okay. hair. <laughs> it's gonna be okay. Yeah, we got this. We got this. Okay. Um, can you give me five? Awesome. Actually, do I love you? It's his favorite thing. Is the he loves the. Oh my God, I just want to pick him up, man. I don't want to scare him, though. What, he's got the Gene Simmons tongue going to, or what? <laughs> Ask if I can pick him up. Okay. Who wants to pick you up? Yeah? Okay? Come on. Come on, my God, dude. Thanks. Well, now you can see why I've been protecting him. He looks just like me, man. This is amazing. We sincerely wish these three the best of luck in the future. First thing we need to do is get them some hair products. No, <laughs> no, I will shave it. I just teased it. Mm -hmm. 